Hey what's up guys, this is Dan here with a video I've been wanting to make for over a year now. I finally got my Leap Motion controller in the mail yesterday, I ordered this back in May 2012, it's now July 2013 so hopefully it's worth the wait, I think it will be. Uh, the pre-orders just started shipping this week so I just got mine yesterday, uh, you've no idea how much I just want to rip this open right now but I will refrain for you guys. <laughs> so if you guys don't know what the Leap Motion controller is, go jump in a hole! No but seriously, if you guys don't know what the Leap Motion controller is, I'll give you guys a link to the website below, go check that out, it's really interesting. Basically. Leap Motion is a motion controller that you connect to your PC or Mac via USB. It's a little device barely bigger than a USB thumb drive. It creates an 8 cubic feet space above your desk. So you basically wave your hands around in this space, you can pinch and zoom, you can grab things, you can do loads of things with your hands basically. It's like touching a screen but without touching it. So in this video I'm going to be taking a first look at the device itself. As you can see this is me doing a good old unboxing. So these are my first impressions of the device. I've never even touched Elite Motion before so I have no idea what this is going to be like. If you you guys are lucky enough to have one already let me know what you think of it in the comments below is it better or worse than you thought I'm gonna be using Mac OS 10 in this video but I'll have a full review of the device up in around two weeks time where I test it out on Windows 2 so make sure you guys subscribe for that so I won't make you wait any longer let's take a first look at the Leap Motion controller so that was the unboxing, as you guys saw there's very little in the box, although I didn't expect there to be much. There isn't any CD to install the software in the box, uh, which could be a problem for some people, but um, as you can see the box is quite small, uh, because the device is quite small too, but one thing I didn't expect was uh, two USB cables, there's a short one and a long one, here's the short one right here, obviously for laptops. Uh, it could be handy if you're uh, using a laptop with your Leap Motion. Uh, there's a longer one too for your desktop probably, so that's what I'm using right now. There's this little card in here that says welcome to a whole new world. And it says uh, head to leapmotion.com slash setup. So I've downloaded the software, the Mac version. My light keeps turning off. I'm gonna install the software, stick in my password. And it's installed, there we go, close. There's a visualizer here that I can use to actually show what the Leap Motion sees in my hands and whoa, there it is. It's tracking my two hands perfectly. Where's one hand there? And if I move one little finger, it's tracking everything. If I put my hands over each other, yeah, it kind of gets mix mixed up then. It has to see all of your fingers to kind of track everything. Let's launch Airspace. Stick in my email address and uh, my password. Don't look. Okay, so we have the Airspace store. We have the orientation, which I just did. Touchless for Mac. Touchless is actually the app that, uh, there's a Windows version too. That's the app you use to apparently control your computer with your hands. Uh, let's go into Google Earth while we're waiting for that to download. Okay, let's try to control this here. Okay, so I'm gonna try and get to Ireland, get back to Dublin here. Arr. So I essentially have my hand here like, I have my hand like a plane, just kind of like tilting. I always thought it was gonna be like pinching and zooming in and I kind of have to control it like that, but no, it's, oh my God. I'm never gonna get to Ireland here. Arr. Well, there's Ireland. I'm spinning around, but there's Ireland. <laughs> this is a lot harder to control than you might think. Oh, what, what, what? Okay, I think we'll leave that for now. Uh, you guys can try out Google Earth if you have a leap motion. All five fingers, all ten fingers. I had to put my finger in the eyeball. Let's try number three. I like number three. Oh, <laughs> spin my face. How do you spin his face? <laughs> this is the best. Oh, is that how you spin his face? This really makes you kind of sweeten. Okay, so an app I do know, Cut the Rope. I love this app. I have this on my phone. You guys should too if you have an iPhone or an Android phone. Quickly slide your finger in the air to cut the rope. <laughs> this is the way Cut the Rope is meant to be played. Okay, you have to, you have to quickly slide your finger to cut the ropes. So I can see you could very easily accidentally cut every rope. Yeah. Oh no! Don't mind me, I'll just be here all day just playing this game. Molecules. You can lock on with two hands and kind of move it around. That is cool. That's actually really cool, that could be really cool for science. There's your DNA, guys. That's what you're made of. Okay, so one last thing I found up here in the Leap Motion menu is it called a Diagnostic Visualizer. Let's bring this up to full screen. And it's tracking all 10 fingers. It's working well, at least I don't have a, a broken device. Dan wants tech. So I think I'll leave it at that, guys. That is the Leap Motion controller, my first look. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So far I'm impressed, but um, I think there is some room to improve, definitely in the software, so there you go. So that was the Leap Motion controller. Very interesting. Very interesting. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe for that review coming soon, and I'll see you guys next time.
Hey, what's up guys? This is Damon's Tech here with a possibly controversial video. Listen, I just don't want the whole Mac PC debate to start up again in the comments because today I'm going to show you guys how to run Windows on your Mac and how to run Mac on your Windows. 